Welcome to today's video. We are going to be doing our April TBR. I cannot believe it's almost already April. We're going to start with the like main priority books, the books that um, I'm going to be focusing on, and then I'll add in some of the books that are kind of, if I have extra, these are the ones that I would probably pull in and read. The first one, All the Missing Girls by Megan Miranda. This girl had her best friend go missing. She left her town and now her father is ill and so she's having to go back and she's going to kind of uncover what happened to her friend that went missing uh, 10 years ago. So another kind of mystery thriller aspect and I always love those kind of Witch in the Well by Camilla Bruce. This is a horror. This is about a woman who was accused of witchcraft way back in the day because children were missing. Although she was acquitted, they still drowned her. And just kind of the spookiness that happens from that. So horror, great witch, so love. The Thicket by Noelle W. Hilly. Um, this is a mystery horror. I'm not sure if it's going to fall more under horror, more under mystery. I'm kind of thinking horror just because it seems like it's going to be more gory. But this woman's brother goes missing at this haunted amusement park. Well, it's like a haunted house, a haunted attraction. And, but then it says that the the killer can be seen like walking through bloody. It's kind of the search for that. What happened in this haunted attraction that ended up with somebody dead. Dressed by Hernan Diaz. This is a book that I purchased strictly off the cover. I saw it at Barnes and Noble, read it, and I was like, mm, it could do it. This is a book cover purchase, end of story. This is about a man and woman who have this like prestigious life, but then a book gets written, I think about them, about this life. The truth behind the scenes, it's one of those, like everything's not as beautiful and as perfect on the outside as, or on the inside as people make it look out. And so just uncovering kind of all the corrupt, maybe not so good things that have happened. As the Wicked Watch by Tamron Hall. This is a murder mystery about a woman who's this crime writer. She gets her dream job, she goes there, and then she gets into the story of trying to uncover what happened to this young teenager who has gone missing. Black Cake by Shermaine Wilkerson. This is about a woman who's passed away, but then she leaves these recordings to her kids, telling this kind of story that I'm not sure if the story is real and she's telling, or if it's just like this crazy story and they're gonna go discover what it is but I've heard phenomenal things about this book. Another one of those mystery thriller books that always tend to be my main read. So we're gonna go into, if I, if I get through those, some of the books that I would pull in. The first one is To Sleep in the Sea of Stars by Chris, P, Christopher Paolini. I do not know why I struggle with that name so much. This cover, just stunning. It is a little long. I've heard it could be a little bit shorter to get that good impact, but it's really beautiful. This is a fantasy book about this woman who goes to this uncolonized planet and the discoveries that they find. But I'm excited to read this one. This one's been on my radar for a while and I've got it. I just, I really need to get to it. The next one is the I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. A nonfiction about Jeanette McCurdy. I have did not watch. I believe she was in iCarly is what she was in, but. Um, I didn't watch iCarly or her growing up, but I do know who she is. I've heard the story is fantastic. I still want to read it. I want to understand how this title and this situation and just all came to be. So I'm intrigued. Those are the books that I am hoping to get to in the month of April. So I will keep you updated and let you know how it goes. So thanks for watching.